for three. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> you think he's got it going a little bit? He's got 21 points in this ball game. JD. Oh, drop pass. Good effort there by Talking Tech. The jam just. Wow. What a sequence. Look at James just jabbing off. And that was, you can't tell from that angle, but that was a little bit of a fadeaway over Jared Dillinger's challenge. And then Gakko giving up the foul. Smart play. Kelly Williams not a great free throw shooter and not giving up the easy two. Right now, BMAC Derby Ace with a little over four minutes remaining is leading this battle. And this is their, uh, it was their biggest lead. Well, I think if there are any teams in the league, Patricia, that were what we would call sleeping on BMAG or, or thinking, oh, this team is right. I think they're not now. After their last game right. against San Miguel, against their game right now against Talking Tex, I think they're proven this team is legit. Well, you know, they played so well against San Miguel up until uh, Kabak not happened. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, they, they've been playing well. You know, that's a tough loss against the number one team in the league, but they played them as well as anybody in this league has this conference. So BMEG continues to play good basketball. Here you go. We have PJ Simon back in action with James Yap, Roger Yap, Derwin Gakwa, and Rico Meyer Hoffer. Roger Yap going right back down to the post against Jimmy Alapog. Let's see the defensive rotations of talking text here. Harvey Carey there with the help. Tries to send it inside to Gakwa. Drop pass. Rico Meyer Hoffer off the glass. Well, extra passes, and Jared Dillinger was right there. But Meyerhofer manages to come up with that ball and finish. He's got eight points. Here's Alapag. Gakko all over him. He loses the ball, but there was an infraction. And that's going to be two free throws for Jimmy Alapag. A lot of Alapag on that possession. A whole lot of dribbling. He saw Gakko come out on him. Felt like he had the advantage. Here you see the extra pass. Gakko. Dillinger just ch turned his head for a brief go? second. <laughs> Lost sight of the ball. The ball comes through to Meyer Hoffer and he finishes. And he's been crucial for them. I mean, Gakko's got 12 points. He's been ferocious on the glass. He's been battling on defense. Very solid effort today. Two for two for Jimmy Lepont. He's got 18 points in this game so far. This BMAC Derby Ace de Amado's team battled back from a 16-point deficit. 15-foot jumper, no goal, but a rebound and another chance for BMAC. Nice patience right there by James Yap. Could have taken it, but Rico Meyerhofer moving into space. The mismatch problems forces the double team, and there's no one left to box out Rico Meyerhofer. Nine seconds to go on their shot clock, and Roger Yap battling off. On a share. Here's James Yap. Step back. Here's a three. Oh, oh in and out. The ball stabbed off. Saved by Jimmy Elapag. And Rico's like, I didn't do nothing. Well, nothing happened. Inside now to carry. Man down. Two men down. Jimmy Alapog got kind of body checked right there by Rico Meyerhofer on the sideline. The refs didn't call it. Coach Chaud is letting the refs know about it. And then some active defense. Last year, I think this play would have been called a flop. But we don't have the flop call anymore in the PBA. So now as Rico falls down and trips, accidentally trips, but trips Harvey Carey. That's a foul. Harvey goes to the line for two. Oh, they're going to fail that miss from the free throw line. Two twenty-five remaining. Not much room for mistakes allowed here. Still a lot of time left in this ball game. BMEG needs to continue to do what they've been doing. Execute, take time, exploit the mismatches, and have Gakko and Meyerhofer go to the glass. Here's Roger Yap. They go to Simon. He's been the hero so far. 21 points to his name. James Yap loses the ball, but JD will be called for this foul. Coach Chaud expressing himself pretty much about that, that call after Jimmy Alibog didn't get the previous call. But Now that both teams are in the penalty. Any foul committed by anybody going on the rest of the game, they'll be shooting two shots. 
Rico Meyer Hoffer tries to dance around the defense of Kelly Williams, and that's a foul. Get the foul on Kelly Williams right there. Looked like maybe a little bit of a bailout. Meyer Hoffer gonna go to the line and shoot two. This would be a great gift for Rico Meyer Hoffer should they win this game. Well, and he's made some energy plays late, you know. He's gotten some offensive rebounds, and maybe his stats won't be filled, but he's made some plays on the ball, some solid defensive plays, gotten some rebounds, some putbacks. He's one of those energy guys who's always around the basket. Two missed free throws from Meyer Hoffer. Last two minutes and four points separate. Here's Talking Text with Alapog on the move. Jared Dillinger, a little bit of hang time right there, but the ball will sail over to the other side. Jimmy gets a layup, and Harvey and Jared Dillinger both right there for the putback. But there's been a few of those for Talking Text in this game where some guys have had some tip in opportunities, some putbacks, and haven't been able to finish. Well, Bebek will be calling for this full timeout. They need to regroup, hanging on to this four point lead, 97 93. Stay with us. This is your PBA on Solar TV. Back with us here. Earlier, we were reviewing that uh, last heave of James Yap from beyond the arc. And referees uh, wanted to actually uh, make sure that they're getting everything straight. Yeah, it's calling if that's a three or a two. Looked like a three, but I couldn't really tell. What, what I appreciate was the basketball side was his jab step. You have to respect it so much, and it's long. It gets space against the three. One fifty remaining here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, into the last two minutes. So yeah. B Meg uh, yeah, can inbound over there in half court and B Meg wanted the ball it. Should Talk and Tex win this, they'll be going up six one in the standings and joining San Miguel on top. And should B Meg win this, this will just be their second win in seven outings. Got a moving screen from Jerwin Gacko, and wow, you know. I'll tell you what, Talking Text has some work to do if they're going to win this game. They're down five with a minute 45. They need some good execution. They need to finish some plays. Now, big thing, Jerwin Gacko with the moving screen is going to foul out of this ball game. But he's going to be replaced by a guy who's also had a solid ball game. John Don Salvador has got nine rebounds of his own in this game. Well, let's take a look at our Animal Salakas play of the quarter. Brought to us by Explode Energy Drink and James Siap right there. Getting away from the defender, uses the glass for that bucket. Drop pass right there. Jared oh. rejected. Rejected. But Jimmy Lapag with a steal. Right in front of the BMEG coaches. Here's Dillinger soaring. And the finish. Wow. Huge block by Rico and a wasted turnover right there. Looked like it was going to be a big stand for BMEG. Oh, we got a moving screen on Salvador. Well, the last thing you want if you're Coach George Gall Gallant is for you guys to just throw the ball away. So one turnover leads to Dillinger's layup, and then a quick turnover with an offensive foul in the backcourt. No time goes off the clock, and you give the opponents, talking text, a chance to score right away. Ryan Reyes is back on the floor. A minute and 17 remaining. This is a chance for Talking Text to tie this ball game. Here's Dillinger. He soars, couldn't get it, and Rico, big rebound. Yep, they were trying to exploit that mismatch, and now James goes right at the basket. Oh. Oh, it'll stay with the white shirts as Jared Dillinger, as he uh, as they uh, attempted to steal that ball from the BMAC Derby AC Mondos. Dillinger stepped on the baseline. And Coach George doing a good job of communicating to his team, saying, hey, Calm down. We got two turnovers and we just forced another shot. We're in the lead. So magaling si Coach George, pangalmado. He seems to be calm and collected. He seemed that way all throughout this ball game. We have Rico Meyerhofer right here and Roger Yap. 
orchestrating the play. This last minute is brought to you by Minutes to Win It. Inside, Salvador kick out wide open. James Yap didn't take it though. He'll attack. Oh, wow. That's a tough finish, you know. I kind of thought James was going to take the wide open three. He doesn't. Instead, he drives right to the middle at Kelly Williams and finishes over him. 24 big points for James Yap. He had the opportunity to take the three, but he took it hard and strong to the basket instead. So many heroes in this ballgame, particularly for the BMEG Derby Ace Yamados, who's now at 100 points and Talking Tech's trailing by five. Well, I mean, just what? <laughs> I think <laughs> James again saw our graphic to start this game, showed how low his shooting percentage was, how much he struggled, and he comes out and has another great game, 24 points, including that last play. I mean, that's one of the most athletic players in the PBA, former slam dunk champion Kelly Williams, who's there to try to block his shot. James finishes going strong to the basket. And look at that shooting. Triple threat. P.J. Simon, 21 points, 4 of 4 from 3. 3 of 9 for James Yap, but he's got 24 points. And 3 of 4 from beyond the arc from Jonas Villanueva. How about that percentage? That's 11 for 17. That's really good from the 2. From the 3, that's incredible. And we have now Jimmy Alapad on the floor. Sends it to Kelly Williams. Uses the glass. The putback. Referee says that was goaltending, and again, another heroic move right there by Kelly Williams, who moves up to 22 points. Nice play, quick two, good execution on the part of Talking Text, and good pressure defense causes BMEG to use their 30-second timeout. Now both teams only have one full timeout left. And this 30-second timeout is brought to us by Handy Fix on first aid in Mbahaimo bonds all seals all and what do they need to talk about right here crucial 44.7 seconds left just three points between the two well you know in the past minute and a half b megs had two silly turnovers actually three counting the offensive foul on gaco the offensive foul salvador. on salvador and then the turnover after the good block by rico meyerhofer they want to make sure they get a shot we just showed that they got three guys who shot 11 for 17 from the field in this game james is used to making big shots pj's making big shots you want Meyerhofer going to the glass, but you also want to make sure that whenever the shot goes up, you're ready for transition defense to get back and not give up any quick layups the other way. Let's see how BMEG will extend this lead and go for their second win here in our All-Filipino Cup. Here's Roger Yap with a handoff. Jonas Villanueva also on the floor. Good patience. Talking Tex doesn't want to foul. They want to play solid defense and not foul. P.J. Simon with 10 seconds left. Dances around Jimmy. Here's a three for Villanueva. Oh, my. And he drills it. Big game right here. Jimmy Alapag. To fun a share. Three if it goes. No. Oh, my. Oh, my. 16 seconds left. Wow. They were 11 for 17. Now they're 12 for 18. I mean, that's 67% from three-point range, those guys. What a huge substitution by Coach George Gallant. Bringing in Jonas Villanueva. Driving kick. Wow, I think it's his fourth three of this half. I think they've all come in the second half here. Jonas just having a... What a game. And their chances continue to elevate with only 15.9 seconds left, plus a free throw made by P.J. Simone. Yeah, and, and P.J. Simone, who's had a fantastic game all game, is the guy who makes the penetration and that assist for that huge three from Jonas Villanueva. BMAG fans are up on their feet as P.J. Simone completes those free throws, 104-97, long he from beyond the arc. No go for Jimmy Alapag. Nine seconds remaining. It's in the hands of BMEG. And so is this victory right here at the Big Dome. What an effort. You know, a team that had started out slow, one and five, at the bottom of the standings. They go up against one of the most talented teams in the PBA, Talking Tech, who's trying to tie San Miguel at six and one. They start off terrible. Talking Tech gets a 16-point lead. Looks like they're going to run away with the game and steal the confidence. But this veteran team, Patricia, they weathered the storm, they played as a team, and they had a variety of guys, a whole team effort, step up, make big plays throughout the course of this ballgame. And because of that, we needed to get two notable players that will be our best players of this battle. Who's with Mika? 
Thanks Patricia. James. Okay, down kayo ng umpisa pero nakita ko talaga yung extra.